When you open a new landscape on OpenTTD, it's a large island or a small continent, usually with one or two lakes in the middle, totally surrounded by ocean. Sometimes the odd inlet. Generally, you will find somewhere some oil fields. We have here a coal mine, and down here we have a power supply. Now we could simply run train between the two or we'd put a highway and run them by truck but look at this we have a waterway goes up to a big lake so let's do that let's maybe run some trucks from the mine down to a wharf here and then we'll run a ship down here and then we will run some trucks at the other end so to do that we we'll start up here on the toolbar, if we can find the mouse again. Where is the mouse? I always have trouble finding the mouse. That's because the cell phone is right in front of my face. I can't see the mouse. <laughs> this is our ship, which opens up toolbar for ships. This is where we make ships over here. I'm sorry, this is for docks. And this is the uh, boathouse or uh, shipyard where we make the ships. And this, of course, is for destroying everything. And this is for uh, building locks if, if the water's going uphill or downhill. And this is for making canals where there is no water. And what is this thing? Building an aqueduct. Wow, isn't that interesting? And this is a buoy. And generally, you only need them in the corners. If you're way out here, and say if the uh, re refinery well, the refinery is, it's way over there. So we're gonna have a ship coming into that refinery and he's going to do an oil well down here off a rig or something. You would just put a buoy up here at the corner just so that he knows he has to make this corner. We don't have to wait to buy the boats because we still have some credit. Every now and then this credit increases. And besides which I always try to keep I try to repay my loan as quickly as possible. But in this case, I'm gonna borrow some more money to buy some more boats. And we wanna buy two tankers. So where is it down here? Oh, on the buy, the buy is up there. Okay, buy two of those ships. So they show up down here. And then we want two ferries. We're up to our credit limit now. Let's see if we can buy a couple ferries with that. In the meantime, we can be telling those ships where they're going to go. And they're gonna go, all three of them, no, no. Uh, two of them are going to go here to the docks to unload. And then the other, and they will go to the uh, oil rigs. Uh, the two oil rigs that I have picked out up here. And then the, the ferry will go to the oil rigs, but I have to make another dock near a town for them. I've clicked on the ship and told it to go to the dock. I got two docks there. Um, I've told it to go to the docks. Now I want it to transfer the load because it's got to go to the train before it goes to the refinery. Now I'll move over, hit on location, and there's the two new rigs. So I'll put one of these ships to go to this rig, and the other ship to go to this rig, and then I'll tell both of them to fully load. And now I can click under here under the stop and change it to go, and they are on the way. We'll just go to this, we'll service this rig. And we've got enough money to buy another ferry, so we'll buy another one and we'll have it service this rig. Now, we've got to go and find a town somewhere. Oh, there's a town right there. And that can be a good place to uh, pick up passengers and crew for the uh, for the rigs. So let's go back to here. Let's, 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 let's make a dock. See, you have to have the land sloping up like this. You need that slope there. So we'll put that dock right there. 
and then we'll what we'll do is enlarge that a little bit and move it over here so we can see what we're doing. Now theoretically, if you can see the, the, the blue squares all around the white square, that's the catchment area. So the dock is there. And theoretically, that power supply or the power plant is well within the catchment area of the dock. But what I would do anyway, just to be more realistic, is I would go up here to the highway toolbar and pick a truck depot and probably put it right in here. Let's Yes, it could go right in there nice and tight. So I want it facing out. I want this dock here and put it here. And then I would take this direction and put it right here at the end of the, the dock. And then I'll take some highway and build between the two. Like so. And then of course we need a garage and I would put it right there in the corner like that and we're going to be tr transferring coal so if we close all that and go here to our truck barn and open up a new vehicle course new vehicle that opens up over here and we go down to coal truck and we'll buy one of those. And it goes way over here. They just jump all around. And we go to, and click on go to, and we go to the dock. And then we'll go, go back up to go to, and go to the power supply. Now at the docks, we want to set it up that we only pick up full loads of any cargo. Well, the only thing he's gonna get is coal, okay. So now we can clone the Vihin Kokos and we'll take probably half a dozen of those. Okay, this is a very simple train setup. I've got two stations. Each station is two platforms long and two tracks wide. And so I've got two roundhouses and I've got one train loading already and I'm making the second train on and, it's, and it's, I'm going to the mine and I'm going to set it for full load only. And then from the mine, it's going to go down to the docks. And they're, see, they're touching the dock, so that's where I want. Now, I'm going to tell it to transfer when it unloads, because it's not going to unload at its destination. It, it, it has to go onto the ship. So I'm telling it to transfer. There's my second train. I've made them five cars long. There's no lights anywhere, no signals. They've just got their orders and they're gonna go down there and fill up. So now I can send the freighter over there and he's been told to stay there till he's loaded. He's, there he is, coming out of the dock. Or out of the uh, shipyard. He's gonna go up the canal. Okay, well, let's do away with the x-ray here. Let's, let's just watch him. See how he goes, how he makes out here. If he has a lot of trouble, we'll, we'll widen all the corners for him. Now I'm gonna get the truck start. Bam. How did he, oh, I wasn't watching that corner. How did he go? See, the, he, he goes around those corners all right. He kind of goes up on the land a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if it would be faster if I if I rounded the, the corners for him. I could do that. Yeah, let's speed him up a little bit here. Watch when he goes down, he actually lowers the water level in the lock, actually lowers to let him through.
There he is, tried out the route, he's checked it all out, he knows where he's going, now he can go over here. And there goes the second train down. Oh, is he full already? He is. The train had already brought coal down and it was waiting for him. And now he's gone back up there. And he's gonna go and unload already. Wow, that was quick. We'll finish this video with a scene I'm working on here. This um, lake system had a T-shaped piece of water. And what I've done is I've widened out this leg and put a couple of docks, uh, locks, put them two wide. I, I started out with one wide because I had one dock down here. And this, this train connects to a coal mine that is being shared by another train going out the other side. And as you can see, I've got two freighters here and they, they both go up here. And one goes to this on one trip. He makes a second trip and he goes up this other branch to this other uh, dock which has got another train going somewhere to another power supply. This particular scene was very short of coal mines. I think there was one coal mine in the, the whole scene and uh, something like five power supplies. So the second freighter goes up this long, lots of locks, lots of corners. And up <laughs> again, and it goes to a truck road. And the trucks take the coal up to uh, power supply. So that's pretty well everything you need to know. There's also other people out there. They go into more depth and, and bigger systems than I use. So good luck. Have fun.